it's far from the best movie in the world, but uh, the 1992 action comedy, if you could call it, The Mighty Ducks, will always have a small place in my heart. Huge hockey fan growing up, 1992 was the first real season that I started to watch hockey. It was also the last year that the Islanders were really good. 92-93 was a great year for the New York Islanders, and uh, if it wasn't for that year, I probably wouldn't be a hockey fan today. So the fact that the team that I grew up rooting for was at its best, and this movie came out, which was completely off the wall and just charming and cute, uh, really cemented my place as a hockey fan. You've got Emilio Estevez playing a hotshot lawyer who uh, gets uh, <laughs> convicted with a DUI, and he didn't lose his car back then because it was only 1992. He didn't go to jail, but he had to do community service. So he ends up coaching Pee Wee Hockey. And he used to be a Pee Wee Hockey great himself. And he has to confront his coach, played by Lane Smith, who has been in everything from My Cousin Vinny to Lois and Clark. There's just a really wacky ensemble cast. A lot of the kids in this movie ended up not really making anything of themselves. But uh, this is like one of Joshua Jackson's first movies. And... Uh, yeah, it's predictable and you know what's going to happen, but you can't stop yourself from watching it. It's almost so bad that it's good. Everything from the flashbacks and seeing little young Gordon Bombay doing his thing to uh, seeing Charlie Banks in the same spot and trying to do the same exact move that Gordon did that didn't work. and It's just a great late night movie with a bunch of friends. You get some popcorn, get some beer, get whatever and just watch it. Everything from <laughs> from Goldberg farting to, you know, everyone had their own, like, little nuances on the team, and it was kind of like slap shot, but for kids. So everything from the Oreo line, you know, and the dude, I forgot his name at the present time, that has the really hard slap shot, and uh, the wise guy on the team, and just, just a lot of fun to watch again not going to win an Academy Award any day, uh, any day soon, but it's a lot of fun to watch, and as far as things go, on the instant queue, you could do a lot worse than the Mighty Ducks. Steven Brill, the guy that uh, I'm pretty sure directed and produced the film, has put his name on a lot of bad things over the years, and while this isn't, again, the best movie in the world, it's probably the thing that he's most well known for. So with that being said, Brill should at least be happy that he got this under his belt before he went on to do the debacles that he ended up uh, having a part in later. So yeah. As far as films go on the instant queue, again, you could do a lot worse than the Mighty Ducks.